Hi again, folks. I'm Chief Meteorologist Jay Bursch, back along with Chief Scientist Carl Nelson here at the Imagination Station. Today, dealing with liquid nitrogen and uh, the expansion of gases and the power associated with that. It's quite impressive. Yeah. Liquid nitrogen, 320 degrees below zero. It is always boiling. It's always expanding from a liquid into a gas. We're going to see what happens if we put some liquid nitrogen, just a little bit, inside this container, seal it, okay. and drop it in that bucket filled with some warm water. Okay. Now, when this expands to a gas, it takes up almost 850 times more volume. So we don't really need to fill the entire container with liquid nitrogen, just enough so that the container will rupture. And we'll just kind of get a sense of how much power there is okay. behind that expanding gas. We're going to drop this in, water. Okay. and drop the face shield down, and we're going to listen for it in about five, four, three, two, one, something like that. It's going to explode, okay? <laughs> wow. Now, as a scientist, I got to wonder what would happen if we could contain that explosive power inside an ordinary watermelon. Nonetheless, we're going to be safe. As soon as we put this in and flip it over, we're going to get out of the way. Okay. All, All right. right. Let's do it. So same thing. Just as opposed to a bucket of water. We're, we're going to see melon. what happens inside the watermelon. Okay. It, it should be it should be okay. interesting, I think. All right, do your thing. Go, folks. Flip that over, put that in, and walk away. Go. There is absolutely no signal before this thing goes off, Jay. It's just going to warm up inside there. And at some point where there was a watermelon, there will no longer be a watermelon. <laughs> just like that. <laughs> watermelon is gone. <laughs> All right, now that it's safe to come back near the uh, the point where the explosion was, uh, the chair, little stool has moved. Got a little move. Watermelon's gone. It actually knocked over some cell phones that were recording the explosion yeah. just from the, the blast pressure. But that's just what's left of our parts, watermelon. Parts, watermelon everywhere, parts everywhere. Um, and like I said, you know, one second the watermelon's there and once that liquid nitrogen expands and bursts that bottle, it builds up such tremendous pressure, it shatters the watermelon. Um, Cas cascades yeah. it everywhere. It's All just that crazy. energy released in an instant. In an instant. Okay. It's just amazing. All right. And this is obviously one folks should not try at home. Don't try at home. No, I mean, it's, it's a little difficult to get a hold of liquid nitrogen, but yeah. even if you do somehow, yeah. come down here and watch us do it because we know how to do it in a fun way. Yes. Watermelon. And you know, you stuff. put us in exactly a safe spot away from that thing when it blew up. Absolutely. So, so Safety well first. Yep. Well done. Very interesting, very loud, and uh, very powerful. <laughs> yeah. All right. Good experiment. For Carl Nelson, I'm Chief Meteorologist Jay Bershback. That was Imagine It.